And tonight our Susanna De Silva is about halfway between Abbotsford and Chilliwack where the disaster is taking another turn. And Susanna, what's happening where you are? Well, Ian, this farm behind me is quiet right now. It was a scramble earlier to get whatever they could off of this property. But the street we are on right now has been a steady stream of trucks and trailers filled with sandbags. They're trying to protect whatever properties and barns they can. We are in Yarrow right now, right? The boundary between Chilliwack and Abbotsford. And the water here continues to move in. And there is some frustration here that more isn't being done to help them in this location. It was previously on an evacuation order. It is now on an evacuation alert. But that could change. I got water rushing out of the calf barn because it's coming in the back door so fast. Uncertainty now as waters recede in some areas only to rise in others. If it keeps coming, we could see another two feet of water coming in three feet quite easily over time. Yesterday there was no water here. Today it just keeps coming. Water coming from Abbotsford through dike breaches. The Bowmans have been dairy farmers on this property for 45 years. After seeing some flooding earlier in the week, things were improving, but they decided to evacuate their 500 dairy cows anyway. Now they're trying to save whatever equipment is left. They're worried about all the other farmers around them in the same or worse situation. Is you guys saving yourselves, that, that's the biggest. The rising and shifting waters complicating things for everyone in the region impacted by what has happened. Oh no, yeah. A weekend hockey tournament has turned into an almost week-long struggle to get home. It's kind of like a hotel purgatory. You know, we, we roam around the place. We That's kind of all we can do. The Howe Shorts live in Revelstoke, normally a five-hour drive, now inaccessible from the lower mainland. They can either take a 36-hour detour using ferries up the coast or a long detour through the U.S. <laughs> Unfortunately, the kids were just having their new passports applied for. So we have no passports and who travels, you know, to Chilliwack with a passport. Um, it's, it's far away, but not that far. Without them, U.S. officials say only an enhanced driver's license will do. They are grateful not to be flooded, but worry about their life, including school that's on hold. By the time you get back and start trying to catch up, you're so stressed out that you can't focus on catching up. And it is the not knowing when the impacts of this disaster will be over that is one of the hardest parts to deal with. For now, everyone is trying to be grateful for what they do have. The main thing now is, you know, let's save ourselves, get out of here as much as we can take and move away and uh, to higher ground and hope for the best. Hope and pray for the best. You know, Susanna, all day today in Abbotsford, I heard from people talking about how anxious they're still feeling. What are you hearing from people? Yeah, there's just so much uncertainty. They're looking at basic things like the, the major infrastructure that has failed right now, how long that is going to take to repair for all of this water to go away before they can even start thinking about rebuilding at this point. And many people here are just hoping they will also begin to see more help. Ian? Thanks, Susanna.